What's going on guys, my name's Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I upload daily zombies videos and if you love watching zombies videos then be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. So with the season 2 update a few days ago, we received two new weapons, one of which being the Ram 9 SMG which we already reviewed and the other one is the BP-50 assault rifle. Those of you who played the original MW2 battle, Back in the day will remember this AR as the F2000. I personally loved this thing back in the day so I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out. If you guys have any suggestions for other weapons you'd like to see me check out then drop a comment below. Before we get into the build I'm using for the BP-50 I just quickly want to take a moment to thank Mitch Cactus for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in unlocking the Interstellar and Borealis Mastery camos, or you just want to play in easier lobbies to quickly level up your weapons and unlock camos, or if you're a Zombies player just interested in unlocking all the schematics, then go ahead and check out MitchCactus.com. They have over 10,000 reviews on their Trustpilot page and are the safest and most professional Call of Duty service out there. Be sure to use my code HYPNO for 5% off. So this is the build I'm using for the BP-50. We're using the CCG attack tape rare grip for increased sprint to fire speed, the reliant 9 comb for increased ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and reserve ammo, the VLK LZR 7MW laser for increased ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, we've got the lore 9 heavy barrel for increased bullet velocity and range, and last but not least the 45 round mag. Now that we covered the build I'm using for the BP-50 it's time to make our way into the tier 3 zone and the elder dark ether to see how this bad boy performs, so I'll see you all there. Alright boys, we made it to the tier 3 zone. As you can see, we got this bad boy 2 pack 3 and we have a bunch of zombies behind us so let's see how well it performs against groups and as you can see we just ripped through pretty much all those zombies. That's insane. So damage output is definitely great on this gun. Of course we got Deadshot Daiquiri on so we can just keep spamming that aim button and that shoot button. So yeah, we're just gonna be ripping through everything. Look at how quickly we killed that mangler. Got this mega abomination right here. Start lighting this guy up. See how quickly we can take him out. There we go. One of his faces is already destroyed. So yeah, the damage output is great. Mobility is really good too, considering it is an AR. Let's keep lighting him up. Good amount of ammo too. Reload speed is kind of slow, but it ain't too bad. We can deal with it. We're not going to get into any trouble over in the dark ether because of it, I'm pretty sure. Set those criticals. There we go. It's almost halfway dead already. Nice laser attacks coming in. Let's hit those criticals. Halfway dead. Beautiful. He's only got one face left. Let's hit those criticals. Nice. Let's come back here. We can actually get on this little umbrella thing here. And that's gonna get him to open up those critical spots. It's also gonna get him to hit us with a laser attack soon, hopefully. Let's see if it does it. We're out of ammo. Oh man. Let's throw that blade and we got him. Beautiful. No issues taking him out. Got a raw crystal off that. All right, so there is a bounty contract right up ahead. So I'm gonna make my way over there. Hopefully we get a mega abomination as our target. We saw how well this thing performs against groups of zombies. Tier 3 zombies in general are a joke with this gun. Just look at that. So yeah, let's see how it performs against bounty targets. And there we go. We got the contract. Let's see what target it gives us. And it's a mega abomination. Let's go. Beautiful. And he's going to be way back there. All right. Not too far. Let's quickly kill this disciple. Just look at that kill speed, man. This thing's crazy good. I swear, every time they release a new gun with the battle pass, it's just super overpowered. I was using this thing in multiplayer just to level this thing up, and I'm not joking, man. I don't play a lot of multiplayer, but I dropped a 70 bomb on my first game playing multiplayer for the season, and it's been a couple weeks, man. So, yeah, this thing definitely performs really well. Mega Abomination is right up ahead. Start lighting him up. Beautiful. Let's throw that real quick. Nice, he's gonna start charging towards us. I think there's another mega further back, and there is. Okay, so we got two megas in the area. Let's come back here, throw that blade. He oh my god, we're getting hit with two laser attacks simultaneously. Let's back up. Beautiful, we need to get some distance here. 
Oh, this is gonna be hectic. It's all good though. So light up our target for now. We'll see if they can kind of damage each other with their laser attacks, if that makes any sense. So whichever one hits us with a laser attack, I'll just go behind the other one. So uh, yeah, we'll see that in a second here. Oh my god, just look at how quickly we ripped through that mangler. Jeez. Alright, let's get that reload. Back up a little bit again. Laser attack coming in. Uh, uh, we're gonna go down. It's all good though. It's all good. Got that extra self-revive. Let's use that real quick. There we go. Ooh, almost got stuck in there. Wasn't trying to go down again. Let's throw that blade whenever we get it back. Nice bonus points right there. We do need some ammo though. We're in dire need of ammo. Let's come here and jump down to this side. Try to avoid that laser to Oh no! Dang! Okay, let's use that self-revive. Oh man, that was our last one. No way. Okay, we'll just play a bit safer now. Fighting two Megas at the same time is definitely not easy, man. <laughs> Alright, let's rip through this group here. Just so we don't have to deal with the zombies at the same time. There we go. Now, let's get that reload. Oh, laser attack's coming in from this one. Let's come back here. There we go. Okay, so this Mega is about halfway dead. Nice. Let's come back here. Oh, the other Mega is hitting us with a laser attack, so let's stand here. That's actually going to damage that Mega as well. Nice. Throw that blade. This Mega is almost dead. Let's get that reload. Missed out on a few critical hits, but it's all good. Should be able to get the kill any second here. Let's keep lighting him up. There we go. Come back here. Pick up these bones. Might as well. Nice. All right, let's come back here. Avoid that laser attack. And now let's focus in on it. And come on, just a few more shots. There we go. Got the kill on the normal mega. Now we can just focus on our bounty target. It's going to hit us with a laser attack, which is nice. So we can get those criticals. So there we go. So that blade, just an epic tool off that, and a mortar strike. Okay, nothing too special. Let's keep focusing on that one there. Quickly pick up these bones. Are we maxed out? Oh no, we, we can still get a couple. There we go. Slide this guy up, get that reload. His face is glowing so we can get those free criticals. Nice. All right, he's almost halfway dead. Let's climb up here. There we go. Hopefully he hits us with a laser attack here soon. Alright, that face is glowing now. There we go. That's the laser attack I wanted to see. And, oh, ran out of ammo. Let's go pick some up. We're running out of ammo pretty often with this thing, I can't lie. Not sure if that's an issue with the gun or me just forgetting to pick up ammo. There we go. Let's light him up. One face destroyed. That's the second face we destroyed, actually. So he's only got that middle face left. Get that reload. Let's come back here. Throw that blade. But we're completely out of ammo, boys. Let's come back here. Might be some ammo laying on the ground here somewhere. Hopefully. No? Oh, man. Okay, luckily we got some zombies back here that we can kill. Come on, drop some ammo for us. Oh, man, there's no ammo at all. Oh, and Mega's up there. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Let's get up there real quick. He's gonna hit us with that laser attack. He can't actually hit us while he's up there. There we go. Got some ammo. Now we can get up there. Nice. There we go. Mega Abomination is right here. Set those criticals on him. Oh, come on. So close to dying, man. He's so close. And just a few more shots. There we go. Got the kill. Quick and easy. The only issue we had was ammo. But yeah, I'll try to remember to just pick ammo up more often. Got an airstrike off that, which I'll take. Um, Napalm Burst, might as well throw it on since we don't have an ammo mod. Uh, there is no more bounty contracts in the tier 3 zone. Okay, so I'm going to head over to the buy station real quick, just to buy an extra self revive, and then we'll make our way over to the tier 5 zone. And there we go, I'll also get a large bag, just so I have that for the next time I load in, so I can take everything out of my tombstone. And uh, yeah, let's make our way over to the portal. And there we go, we made it to the Dark Aether portal, let's use that sigil. Except the Aw oh, man, and he's pleading for help right here. We're not gonna make it in time. Dang it, I'll see you all in the tier 5 zone.
And there we go, boys. We made it to the tier five zone. Let's take out these hellhounds here. Let's see if there's a normal zombie. There we go. Let's see how quickly we kill him. Okay. Yeah, so even in the tier five zone, this thing does really good. Let's focus on that mech. Where the hell is this guy going? Okay, right there. <laughs> Not too far at least. Let's light these guys up. There we go. That's a lot of zombies, man. Yeah, the tier five zone definitely got a little buff. Let's get that reload. There we go. Throw that blade. Let's take out these hellhounds before they do too much damage to us. It's a shame that PhD flopper doesn't work properly, man. I swear. I hope that gets fixed soon. Let's light this guy here up. Beautiful. Mega Abomination is right there. Nice. Let's quickly kill that disciple. Just look at how quickly we're killing that disciple, man. There we go. <laughs> Already dead. Let's throw that blade back up a little bit again. There we go. Let's keep hitting those critical shots. The laser attack coming in. There we go. One face destroyed. Get that reload. Nice. Let's keep lighting him up. It's the fire rate on this thing too. It's got that high damage output and a high fire rate as well. So we're just ripping through everything, man. Definitely a great gun. Mega Abomination is about a quarter way dead. So light this mangler up. Dude, just look at the mangler's health bar. Already halfway just from those few shots. Let's get a bit closer to him. There we go. Mangler is almost dead and the mangler is dead. Quick and easy. Had no issues taking that guy out. Let's hit those criticals. Oh, gotta throw that. Nice. Got an invite from the schematic winner. Which is good. So I'll go drop the schematics for him right after this game. Let's back up a little bit. Throw that blade. He's got about a quarter of his health bar left. A bit more than that. There we go. He's at a quarter now. Beautiful. Let's back up. Get some distance from this guy. There we go, hit those criticals. Man, he's so close to dying. Let's quickly get on this green car. That's gonna get him to charge at us and he should hit us with a laser attack. There we go. Beautiful, works every time. Now we just focus on that final face. Yeah, just look at that fire rate, man. And it doesn't move, like there's no recoil on this gun. Just look at that. I'm loving this thing, man. Let's pick up some ammo here. Should be some more ammo back here from the zombies we killed earlier. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Now let's focus on this guy again. Hit those criticals. He is so close to dying, man. There we go. Come on. Hit us with that laser attack, Mega. And he's doing it. Beautiful. Quick and easy. Got some essence off that. A Casimir. And that's it. Okay. Nothing too fancy off that Mega. So once you get past that part there, if you're just going for schematics, I wouldn't recommend fighting off that mega just so you have as much time as possible. But yeah, just run in this direction and the first contract is right up there. As you can see, there's a mega there and a mangler. So just get on this wall, jump into this window, break the glass right here and just climb up this ladder. Pick up the contract and to avoid those elite zombies just jump to this side of the building and uh, from here you can just run up to this zip up ahead. The first extractor is going to be right up here. There's going to be a bunch of zombies and also one or two elite zombies. So that's why we bring Casimirs with us. We can just throw a Casimir right here. That's going to pull in all the zombies. It's going to do some damage to the elite zombies as well. But more importantly, it's going to let us just disable the extractor without any issues. So once you get that one disabled, keep running south in this direction here. You can run on the wall as well. That's going to help you not take damage from the zombies to your left and to your right. Once you're at this part here, throw a Casimir at that wall. That's going to bounce off and land right at the extractor. You might have a couple zombies on the stairs, but shouldn't be anything too bad. Once you get up here, once again, you can just disable the extractor. No issue at all. Once you get that one, run west towards this ladder, climb up, get on this wall. Now, if you have an extra Casimir, throw it at the extractor. That's going to bounce off and kill all the zombies here. Since we only have two, we're just going to, you know, go with the traditional method of frying the zombies. 
So let's quickly get that done. We'll also use our energy mine field upgrade. There we go. It's going to help out a bunch. And nice. And we can just disable this. Shouldn't have any more zombies coming in. Got one right there. But as you can see, no issue. So once that blows up, that's going to be contract complete. See what we get from this. Uh, if we can actually hit the reward rift. Let's kill these zombies real quick. There we go. Got the prompt. Okay, so we got an Aether Blade case, which I'll take, and a Refined Crystal, which I think I'll leave in there. That's what, like 20 grand? Um, yeah, we'll leave that in there. Maybe we'll get something better, but I definitely don't want to drop that extra self-revive or the uh, large bag. But yeah, once you complete that contract, just jump down to this side where you'll find the screen bus, and that's where you get the Outlast contract. So once you accept that, run over to this corner here. There's going to be a zip that you want to go up, run through this door here, and take a left in this building, and this is where you find the P&D. So just get this thing activated, stay in this room, there's really not much to it. If you have extra Casimirs, be sure to use those, they're definitely going to help out with this contract. Um, the energy mine field upgrade also helps out because as you can see there's a ton of zombies that spawn during this contract and that's just going to get a bunch of kills for you. So yeah, not much to it. Keep running in circles, stay alive. I'll see you guys once this contract's complete. And contract is complete. That's going to kill most of the zombies. You might still have one or two left alive, also an elite, but yeah. We only have this Mimic and a few zombies. We also have a Disciple further back. So let's quickly focus on that guy. Try to take him out. Let's get that reload. Our blade. There we go. Let's hit the arm of the Disciple. Just stop him from healing. Oh, we're going to have to back up here. Let's use that Energy Mine field upgrade real quick. There we go. Now, oh, we turned the Disciple. All good. All good. So we got the golden plate plans and a dog bone, which I am not going to take. We already have the plate plans, so we're all good. So yeah, great against groups of zombies, great against bounty targets, great against elite zombies, just overall a great assault rifle. Probably, I'm going to go ahead and say this might be the best AR in the game right now. Um... Definitely is for multiplayer and for Warzone, that's for sure. For zombies, I'm not sure if this is going to be better than the M16 pack punch, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. I might have to do a little comparison soon. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to show your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are, and as always, goodbye.